if I could make a few comments. Um, you know, in regards to the recreation center and emergency shelter, I mean, I think, you know, I think most of us probably vernacular, we don't know what an emergency emergency shelter is in terms of what the Office of Emergency Management says. And I think that's okay, but I think what I'm hearing time and time again, and I think as we continue to have these crazy events, which are going to continue, we all know they're going to continue, I think we need to maybe reevaluate what sort of facilities or what sort of services we are providing. And if we can't call it an emergency shelter because that has a certain definition, could we call it a resilience hub? If you don't want to call it a warming center, that's fine. But I think that the idea is that, again, we're going to continue to see these kind of events happen. And I think if we have a facility that has showers, that, you know, potentially it has, and, you know, and I realized during Snowmageddon in 2021, there was no water, and that was problematic and that sort of thing. But assuming if A, B, and C check out using those facilities and, and, and planning it up to the public to say, yeah, we're not going to charge $5 to come in and use the shower, or if you need to bring in you and your four kids here to warm up because you haven't had, you know, heat, or, you know, it's July and your AC has gone out because the grid failed and, you know, grandma's, you know, getting very hot having a place to bring her in. I mean, I think that's something we as a city need to be talking about. Um, and I, you know, I realize this is not, you know, emergencies or not everything you can plan for, but I think in the opening statements, I do think it's a time for us to say, you know, what did we learn from this experience? What could we potentially do differently and serve and serve differently? And so I think, you know, with that with the mat and that in mind, thinking about about the rec center and about <coughs> how do we utilize that facility because we are going to continue to have wacky climatic events, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, and you have different scenarios, and you train staff on that, and you pull out the scenario that fits for that particular event as best as best you can, right? You can't always prevent, or you can't always plan for everything, but I think that is, um, you know, what I'd like to see. Yeah, I would just say that we're... <laughs> Uh, I would just 